Switch, Frozen, why is it Frozen? Try this again. Oh, it was weird, I was turning on my live for, I was typing in my description, my title for live and on TikTok and it, the app closed on this phone and same, right afterwards that phone locked up for some reason, which they never lock up when I'm on the app, even if I don't have it started. It's weird. If I have the live set up, it's never like that. Anyway, should be fine now. We should be good. We should be good. Okay, so um, I am very late today. Very, very late today. Um, I could not sleep last night. Um, I didn't go to bed at like 4.30. I don't know why. Um, because I was up fairly early yesterday. Then I woke up at 7 with a migraine. Not a really bad migraine, it's a slight, kind of like what I have right now. Just like a little right here on the side, really obnoxious, slightly painful, but more annoying than anything. Took a couple Excedrin, took my measurements, because that was, was the first thing in the morning, um, and then went back to bed. Uh, by the time I went back to bed, like 20 minutes later, it seemed to be fading away. So I'm like, okay, cool, I'll finish getting some sleep just to make sure. And then I wake up about 11.30, 12 o'clock, and actually about 12.30, I think, and the migraine was back. Uh, redid my measurements just to make sure, because I was probably half asleep when I took them. And, um, Did my progress picture and stuff. So uh, it's two o'clock. It's a little after two o'clock. Uh, I know you guys on live know that, but uh, well, if you're in my area, Eastern Standard Time, <laughs> it's a little after two o'clock. Um, so half my day is gone, and I got another two hours plus down here. Then my son comes over to hang out. So I got to try to get a little bit of stuff done after my. After my workout, hopefully I can still get some stuff done. He usually doesn't come over about five, six, six, seven o'clock usually. So, uh, anyway, I guess it gives me a good, good start for tonight because he's usually up half the night. We're watching TV and movies, and I'm usually falling asleep watching the stuff. And sometimes we're watching something like a series, like we're watching The Boys, and. I'll fall uh, by the end of it, the uh, second episode or so. I'll fall asleep halfway through it. He goes, "How much did you catch?" I don't know. You gotta watch when you wake up in the morning, so we can finish it tomorrow uh, next time. And then when he comes over the next week, did you finish this? No. <laughs> so we have to rewatch the whole episode together. Um, so I might be able to step and watch whatever the fuck we're watching tonight. I don't know what we're gonna watch. I might... we haven't watched Miss Marvel yet. Yeah, we haven't watched that yet. Anyway, um, so it's like 2.05. Um, we try, try to get through this in a decent time frame today. Um, without having to stop and talk for six hours like I'm doing right now. So Anyway, so let's go over my progress real fast. As I, I waited till today to do that instead of yesterday. Um, so for you people watching on YouTube, after the fact, here's the progress picture from last week, this week. Um, for you guys, that is, that'll be up on, um, that'll be up on Instagram. Uh, the progress picture will be up on Instagram. Uh, and it'll be in my TikTok uh, that I'm making a little bit later today before my son comes over. Um, that will do the comparisons. So, uh, welcome to Twitch, dear. Thank you. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> last week was my three-month mark for my workouts, and though it's going a little slower than I want to, it's pretty much probably right on pace where it should be uh, because I, I want it to go as fast as it did eight years ago when I was busting my ass a lot harder. I'm not saying I'm not working hard. I am working hard, but I was putting in a lot more effort eight years ago with extra cardios, uh, basically doubling my workout, doing my whole workout twice a week as opposed to spreading it out throughout the week. So it's not going to go that fast. And I knew that, but it's, uh, 
it's still going pretty well. So I'm not going to really complain about it. So um, anyway, so last week I was at um, 183.8 pounds. I am down to 182.4. That's almost a pound and a half. Close enough. Uh, body fat percentage uh, went from 25.6 to 24 uh, percent. Uh, the BMI dropped 0.2 from 28.8 to 28.6. Uh, I'm falling over. <laughs> and the waistline, my stomach really, uh, went from 41 and a quarter to 41. Uh, that was the issue I was having yesterday, um, is that it didn't drop at all. Um, and then this morning I got up, it was the same thing. Uh, but when I got up the second time, <laughs> at like 12, um, I was like, I, I don't know if I was measuring the wrong spot, but it was like, it was like 40, 40 and a half, 40 and three quarters. So I had to make sure I took it like three, four times, made sure I double checked to make sure I was in the fattest part of where my love handles are. Um, I think I was a little too high, kind of where the curve in a little bit more. That's why it was coming out a little bit smaller. So, um, but I'll say the second time I did it this morning, it was measuring closer to 40 and three quarters on average. You know, the two or three different times, well, five or six different times I did it, it was coming out just under 41. I was like, yeah. But if it was at 41 and a quarter yesterday and 41 and a quarter earlier this morning, probably closer to 41. So we're going to leave it at 41 um, uh, just to make sure. I don't want to I don't want to do the same issue next week where it's like, oh, it's, it's higher than it was because it said I'd rather, I'd rather it see at 41 next week uh, if it was at 40. If I took the right measurement this week and it was at 41, it says I'm making sure I was in the wrong spot and maybe pulling the uh, tape measure too tight or whatever the reason that made it a little bit smaller. And be like, I gained a half half an inch. Yet my body fat percentage is down. So now, as far as the body fat percentage goes, and the weight goes, there were two things I thought was going to happen. One, the body fat percentage is correct. Um, I was correct on. I started taking creatine last week, and I've been I've been good about. It. I haven't missed a dose. Whatever you want to call it, um, uh, um, a serving, I guess, since I started taking it. Um, and creatine adds water to the muscles. Um, it adds water to your body, or retains water to your body, um, in your body. And the way those body fat scales work is it reads resistance in your body. The less resistance, the lower the body fat, basically, because muscle naturally holds more water than fat. So the more water in your body, the less resistance, and then the scale thinks the body fat percentage is lower based off your height and weight and all that other stuff. Whatever calculations you use. So that dropping a um, whole little over a percent and a half in one week uh, when it was fluctuating, it was basically 25.6, 25.6, went up to 27.3 because I was dehydrated the week before and then back to 25.6. So pretty much four weeks in a row is at 25.6 what it was reading. And then it dropped, you know, a percent and a half. That's probably mostly due to the water weight. And just for an example, um, I was roughly 54.3% hydrated, I guess uh, that's, the, that's how it calculates it. And then this week I was 55.4. So it went up because the water retention. Now the weight, I thought the extra water weight was going to make me a little heavier. So, um, so I'm kind of I'm kind of glad to see that um, I lost a pound and a half in a week, which means that the workout is still burning fat. It's just not burning fat as much here. But that makes sense because this is my problem area. Everybody has a problem area. Some for a lot of women. It's around here. A lot of women, it's down here in their thighs. Um, as opposed to up here, where it is more for guys. Uh, so that's where I'm going to have most of the issue. You know, 
these are going to be still sitting here probably when I get down to even the waistline that I want to be at, which is around 32. I'm probably still going to be able to go like this and still have these stupid ass love handles. Just not as big, but they'll still be there. They're going to be the hardest thing to get rid of. Um, because, again, that's my problem there. But I did notice in my comparison pictures, well, the picture that I took that, or when I looked, even looked in the mirror, that it was a lot thinner here. So I'm cool with that. Um, and again, I will stress that I am not measuring anywhere else in my body. And if I was, I would probably notice a lot more fat loss around everywhere else. I do notice a lot more definition uh, than I had before. I noticed that my biceps and my chest are bigger. If you watched my highlight reel that I posted for last week, uh, well, this week, for, yeah, the one I posted yesterday, for week 14 last week, um, especially on day one when I'm wearing that a little bit looser, a little thinner tank top. Um, after I get a good pump in <laughs> from because of the creatine and the, and the work, chest workout, um, I'm standing there and I'm doing my shoulder shrugs and my it's kind of sitting like 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 this, and like you can see like the definition in my in my chest a little more. Um, you can also see the pictures. If you look at my three month picture for certain, you can see the start one month, two month, three month, and you can see a lot more definition in there as well. Not a lot more size but a lot more definition, and that's, I'm, I'm happy with that. So, uh, I'll put this string in motion. Cool. Uh, I pretty much just just stream, that, that's it. Um, I just turn it on, and people want to watch me, that's great. If they don't, they don't. Uh, I just added it because I couldn't get on YouTube Live, so I'm like, well, what else, what else can I, I, I live stream on that no one's going to watch me on? So I was like, oh, Twitch is for that. So, anyway, not me being like conceited, like everybody needs to watch me, it's just more so that I want people to see that you can, you can go from bleh to in shape. And plus, it's keeping me, it's keeping me consistently coming down here. Um, not on time, and not at the same time every day, but at least I have been down here every day since I started. So that includes my rest days coming down here doing a stretch, um, uh, and I have done that consistently for 14 weeks now. I have not missed a day, uh, even when I wasn't feeling too hot um, for a few days a couple weeks ago. Um, even when I have migraines. Now, there's, there are times, like, if I wasn't doing this, if I wasn't live streaming it, I know if I, if I was recording, it wouldn't make a difference because I tried that two years ago. I have probably a good, I have roughly seven weeks worth of um, a video from last year that I recorded um, uh, on my hard drive, and I wasn't consistent with it. I know that there's days missing, um, not because I deleted them, but because I missed a few days. If I got a migraine, I'm like, nope, can't do it today, I'll make up for it tomorrow. And then I'd miss, my, miss a certain day, um, usually I would end up giving up one of my leg days, because I hate leg day. Um, not that I would skip both leg days, but I would skip a leg day. Um, so I about two weeks, two, well, I say seven weeks, I just kind of looked at it, I have about seven weeks worth of stuff on there from the end of um, 2020. I even have the, I even, I watched the, uh, the section where I realized my elbow was fucked up <laughs> doing the upright rows. And I, I, I can't really tell if I was doing it completely wrong. I think I just kind of jumped my arm a little too much like this, and I think I was bringing it up too high for starting in the wrong position as opposed to bringing it up nice and nice and easy. I was kind of jutting it like this and maybe that was the problem. Um, but I sit there, I have to put it down, I'm like, oh. And after uh, the, rest of the rest, I kept like fast forwarding through in between exercises and I'm watching myself walk around every so often, I'm just going like this, I'm like, oh. And that was my last video. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I know that just recording it 
doesn't make a difference because I have no accountability to a, a camcorder, even though no one really watches me very much on these. Every so often somebody jumps in here and either, you know, gives me a little bit of encouragement, uh, a little positive feedback on it. Um, I also get a few trolls, which is fine, I don't care. Uh, trolls don't bother me. Um, again, I might get defensive when I go and go, what's this comment say? Oh, fucking cocksucker, you know. You know, I, I might go a little defensive on it, but I don't care. It's not going to discourage me. It's actually going to encourage me a little bit more sometimes. Um, <clears throat> so, at least being live, um, I have, I have like a, I feel like an, I have a little more accountability doing it. You know, uh, if I record it, I can be like, I can just come down here and be like. Yep, today is this, and then when I pop, pop, pop it up on YouTube, I can say recording date was the day before, and then I can just be a day off. It's not a big deal, because right now my videos are off, you know. Um, I haven't even edited Saturday's video yet. Um, I just got Thursday's uploaded to YouTube, uh, because I got a little behind on them. So, this I can't be behind on, other than being late in the day, so... <clears throat> That's that. So, anyway, today is the start of week 15. This is week 15 of my routine. This is the second week of the 3 of 10 segment, if you've been following along. The first segment was 5. Everything has a recovery week at the end of it. There's one week where we don't do the routine. Um, I basically do uh, just workout videos. Um, I follow along workout videos. Uh, basically a turbo jam and or hip-hop abs routine, which is basically what I do for warm-ups anyway, but then I throw in the turbo sculpt, which is kind of a weight training routine, an aerobic weight training routine. Um, it's nothing major, but it does work. It does a good job, you know, for what it is. Um, and it's nice for a recovery week type thing for me. Uh, for those of you just starting out, I really highly recommend following the Turbo Jam schedule. Um, to get you to get yourself moving, at least do it for for a month, two months, something like that. And once you get into a good routine, why was my lot? God damn it! My live was just suspended again. Sorry, sweetie. My live stream contains a hate speech violation has been terminated. So again, this is the second time that has bullshit on it because if you've been watching, there was nothing there. Why am I logged into my other account? Why is my account gone? What the fuck? Where is my... I'm getting mad. I'm getting so mad. Every time I try to go to my appeal, it won't let me appeal it. Keeps logging me out. Like, 
but it literally will not let me sit a, submit an appeal. It keeps logging me out. Switching me back over to my other one. Keeps keeps logging me out. So I'm jumping off here real fast because I'm I'm fucking pissed off again. Okay, I don't know why it says it's a new device, but whatever. My account got restored because obviously I wasn't spewing hate speech anywhere. At least this time it only took like an hour or two. Almost two hours. Yet every time I still click on the button for the account violation, I get I get rid I get walked out again. I, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, um now it's almost fucking four o'clock. I, I wish people would get a life. I really do. What I, I don't want to be mean to anybody. I don't want to, but if you have nothing better to do than to literally bully and harass people online, in you know, that's what you're doing. You you, <laughs> you just don't have the balls to actually bully people, so you report them because you have you have no balls to confront them about anything. I mean, if if that's the type of person you are. You you really need need to find a find a better life. I mean, that all you want to do is fucking. Oh, I'm gonna report them because I uh, just just because it's fun. <laughs> Look what I did. The fuck is wrong with people? If that's how you get your kicks, you, you really need to get a life and find something better to do with yourself. Anyway. It is week 15, day one. This is the second week of the 3 of 10 series. Um, my warm-up is a 20-minute cardio from Turbo Jam. It'll probably take about 15 to 18 minutes because I don't have to cool down. And then we are doing chest, back, nope, chest, shoulders, and triceps. Today's workout is going to be the bench press, uh, dumbbell flies, incline best bench press, uh, military press, side lateral raises, uh, bent over straight arm rear lateral raises, shoulder shrugs, and then tricep kickbacks, skull crushers uh, with a single dumbbell. I know some people like to do them with the barbell like this, or with two dumbbells, I used to use one that way. And then we'll finish it off with a close grip tricep pull down on the lat pull down machine. Uh, in between sets, uh, basically in between set one and two, and two and three, we will be doing a minute of light cardio intervals, um, jumping rope, jumping jacks, uh, jogging in place, uh, cross country skier type things, you know, if, you had, if I did a little more intense, you can call them run lunges, um, butt kicks or just slow heels back, running in place, you know, like this. Uh, standing in place, Heisman's, just kind of going like this, back and forth. You can just kind of hop back and forth if you want to as well, depending on the intensity you want to do if you are following along with this workout and doing it yourself. Uh, I think it's called fast speed. I call it fast speed. Basically, one, two, three, four, and up in a Heisman. One, two, three, four, this way, just real quick. Um, and then Wacky Jacks, which I stole from P90X. It's just basically, it's not really a jumping jack, but you're kind of in a jumping jack position, and you're just kind of going back and forth like this. Um, it's one of the P90X moves. It's kind of goofy looking, but it does keep you moving. And it's just to break up the monotony of doing the intervals. You can run in place, you can jump jack every time you want. I don't care. It's just to make up for the extra rest time needed for the 3 of 10 series versus the 2 of 15 or the 1 of 10. 
the heavier your lift, the longer the rest time. So as opposed to just standing here and talking, which I do too much anyway, uh, I write my thing down, I hit the timer, I do a minute of cardio, light cardio, and then come over here. And again, depending on your goal and what you want, you can do it as intense as you want to, you can do it as light as you want to, which is to keep your body moving, that's all it's for. So I got my notes here from last week, and we're just going to go from there. So uh, I'm going to start my, my warm up and hopefully we'll get this done pretty quickly because I've already missed half of my day. So. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so we're going to move on right away. I'm going to start with those uppercuts. I want you to aim for under my chin, right towards me. You guys ready? Yeah. Uppercuts. Now to the corner. So right under my chin, and then under the corner. And it's out, up, and away from your own face. Now we're going to add those hooks. Good, uppercut. Now hook. Pump it to me. Pump it. Now you can either do this nice and low like this, or get funky. Just have a good time, because you know what? This is your workout. I want you to enjoy it. Let's go. Uppercut. Now hook. Uppercut. Hook. Pump it. That's it. That feel good. Got those abs working already. Here we go. Uppercut. Pump it, pump it, pump 
There you go. Jab crosses smaller. Intensity coming down. Jab knee. Punches are shorter. Kicks are lower. Nice. Clap it. migraine is not going away. What does that say? That you chill. <laughs> I don't want to chill. <laughs> Get some music going here. And just in case anybody wants to throw another violation, all this music that I'm playing is Creative Commons from the YouTube Audio Library with no attribution needed. Therefore, I have every right to play it over my live streams. Usually, Instagram is the only one that tries to violate that. But. You know, I get like hate speech violations or bullying harassment violations and all I'm doing is talking about the workout. Alright, so uh, set up the bench press, which I probably would have done earlier. But, Set last week we did 110 pounds and we're keeping it at 110 pounds with a 20 pound bar and 90 pounds 45 each side. Set 
out of place for a minute. Hopefully whatever it's rattled and starts flowing here shortly with the little fucking migraine. I didn't eat enough yesterday. Hundred percent positive. I didn't. Second set, same weight. Second set, 110, 10 reps. I'm going to go ahead and take a 5 pounds, 115 for the next one. I know it's not a lot, but that one was still pretty tough, for me, but it wasn't much tougher than the first one. So. I didn't have this migraine every time I pushed the fucking bar. Probably I'd be doing a little more anyway. But I'm not gonna let a headache stand in my way here. It happens to me too much. I usually have to work through it anyway. when I'm working. So, the difference I'm working or working out. A little more strenuous, a lot more strenuous because my job is to all this strenuous activity. Alright, so, yeah. Ready, five pounds.
All right, third set, 115. And reps, keep that 115 for next week. All right, strip this part now. We'll do the dumbbell flies. Set last week we did 27 and a half pounds. I think my 27 and a half. Now just so anybody watching that hasn't been watching and doesn't know, um, I have a range of dumbbells from 3, 5, 8, 10, 12 pounds in like aerobic weights. Then I have 15 to 40 in rubber hex weights. Um, but if you've worked out, you know, sometimes you need that little in-between increment. Uh, so I did notice that some of the dumbbells, the bars, dumbbell bars with the plate weights on, that I have, I have one, two, three, four, five, six of those, uh, they weigh roughly about two and a half pounds. So if I put 15 pounds of plate weights on those two and a half pound bars, I have 17 and a half pounds ish. I think they're closer to three pounds than they are two and a half, but rough. Anyway, and on some of the exercises, uh, I will just throw on the two pound wrist weights that I have. Um, that'll make it 17 or 22 or something like that. And that'll give me my in between weight. So you'll either see me, if you are watching, you decide you want to keep watching. You might see me use hex weights, you might see me use plate dumbbells, and you might see me use the hex weights with the wrist weights on. Um, just for in-betweens. Okay, there's nothing wrong with doing in-between weights. I don't care what some hotheads in the gym try to set. When, you're, when your weight maximum is, up, is below like 50 pounds on a dumbbell, those in-between weights do help. Because sometimes you're like, yeah, I can do more, but you pick up that extra five pounds, you're like, can you can't even lift it. So, find a way to do an in-between. You can even buy one that one and a quarter pound plate weights as well for those in between weights if you need to. So yeah, anyway, 27 and a half what we're doing, so I'm using the plate bars for this. Uh, I already have them made up. So oh, some old rusty looking weights. Still got a little bit of rust on them, but maybe they look any different. You can also buy hex weights, the rubber hex weights in, in, in between pounds, but considering the regular weights are roughly about $1.50 a pound, those in between weights are almost darn near twice as much. So for a 22 and a half pound dumbbell, you're going to be paying like $45, as opposed to a 20 pound dumbbell, you're probably going to pay about $25, 30 bucks. So. Anyway, first set, 27 and a half pounds.
All right, so first set, 27 and a half, 10 reps. I'm going to keep that, but I'm going to do pretty much the same thing as the next one. See how that goes, because that was kind of tough. If it feels the same, I'll probably grab the 30s for the third set. I don't know until so after I do the next set. Uh, this increment, or interval, jumping jacks. And again, you don't have to go hardcore on this. You can, it's just to keep yourself moving. It depends on what you're going for. If I really want to, I can just I can blast these out. I don't want to, especially with this migraine. Maybe next week. <laughs> but right now. Plus, I know how bad my aunt might cast her last week after starting these intervals. So, a little bit of increase in them from last week is good. Any increase is good. I know by the end of the week, I was, I'm more like, oh, fuck. Second set, same way to Second verse, same as the first. I wish this bench had to have heavier. Just weight it down the bottom a little more. If anybody likes this artist, Again, it's, it's on the YouTube audio library for free. His name is Nefix. N E F F N E F F as in Frank. E X. I kind of like his stuff. I got quite a bit of them on here, so if you do want to find him, that's his name. And you can download it off of. YouTube audio library. Fortunately, he's the only artist I found on there that actually has lyrics that would fit the workout program. Second set, 27 and a half pounds, 10 reps. I'm going to keep it the same. This last three were like, huh?
Alright, last set, same weight.
30. Second set, same way.
Alright, second set, 85. 10 reps. Okay, 90. Feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit to come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take it to your hands and play on your own hands and land your own brand and down. Like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility Convincingly, I'm willing to put in the hours It takes to get some power, don't be weak and sour Take a cold shower, scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder, and f*** all the doubters Those young doubters I swear to God, they don't let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm f***ed off in these f***ing clouds Who are all taught, they deserve an ounce Very like motivational stuff. Ninety. I never got my live band suspended because of the pre-workout wore off. I can I could just work through it, but I'm still live streaming on the other platforms anyway. So. Anyway, third set, 90 pounds. That's obviously 10 reps. Obviously not going up next week. Okay, chest is done. Strip this bar, we'll move on to shoulders.
just so everybody knows, my weights, I don't have 45s and 35s like you find at the gym. Well, obviously, I'm not using Olympic plates, but you can find standard plates the same weight. Uh, my biggest ones here, 50. These are 25s. I have tens, fives, and two and a halfs. Those are the increments that I have for flavor. Just in case anybody was wondering. I'm sure you weren't, but. Okay. So, military press. You can do them sitting straight up if you want to. I was doing that until I started this 3 of 10 series. So now I'm getting into heavier weights. A lot of extra strain on the lower back that you don't need. Slight angle of the bench here. I think it's, I don't know, 10, 10 degrees, something like that. Um, but when you do a military press, they're slightly forward. And you can do them straight up, shoulder press, when they're behind the neck as well. In the military press, they go slightly forward. So if you sit up, you gotta make sure you're going forward. If you lean back slightly, kind of like the incline press, you just push straight up and then you are still going slightly forward as you're leaning back. Should make sense. Okay. Alright, so military presses. Last week we had 22 and a half, 25 and 27. Because also, before I was doing them sitting up straight, sitting straight up, which requires a lot of extra work with the rest of the body, which means you lift a little bit less. You lean back, more focus on the shoulders, more and more of the push is going where it's supposed to be, and you can lift a little more weight when you're focused. Sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes, um, like on the, you know, if I'm doing a standing bicep curl, the dumbbell, I can probably lift more than I can if I isolate my bicep like I do on the concentration curl where I put it here on my leg. So sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes yeah. anyway, so 27 and a half pounds for the military funds. isolate the muscle a little more. Like we're going here, I'm taking away a lot of stuff that has to do extra work to push the weight up. As opposed to isolating the bicep with that concentration curl, I'm taking away a lot of the extra stuff that helps. lift the weight versus help support the body while lifting the weight, I guess, I guess, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, first set, 27 and a half pounds. Part of what made me decide to go uh, lean back opposed to sitting straight up is that pretty much every fitness influencer or bodybuilder that I watched do these they were always leaning back with really heavy weights. I never saw anybody sitting straight up with them or standing with them unless they were doing light weights, like aerobic style stuff. Like kind of we do in a turbo sculpt video that I do on the recovery. And here I go talking too much. Anyway.
Alright, first set 27 and a half. 10 reps. I'm going to put the 30 on that one. Alright, so now we're doing cross country skiers. I don't like doing this one. I just don't. I don't like the bounce. But I made the decision to put them in there. Alright, so we just kind of back and forth like this. Again, if you want to go more tense, you can do run lunges. You got like old cross country spears. Just do this. This is what I'm doing right now because my down. Alright, second set, 30 pounds. 40, 35, 30. Alright, second set, 30 pounds, 10 reps, you did 30 for the last set.
Ernie wants to take that up. But I'm not really feeling it. But I have three sets next week to play with, so 30 reps, 30 pounds, 10 reps. The same for the first set next week. Alright, so side lateral raises. We 17 and a half in the last set last week. Keeping it there. I have those for three made as well. And you can do these double arm, single arm, or alternating, whatever you prefer. I do a double, single. I personally prefer to go. Again, some of the physical trainers, athletic trainers, will tell you that you get a little more benefit out doing a single because you can focus better. I believe that's true. I also believe that you pay attention to what you're doing, so you're informed properly. If you look in the mirror, or like me, selfie camera, viewfinder, view screen, whatever, you still get the same benefit out of it by doing a double because you're watching yourself. Alright, so two, two seven and a half pound weights on a two and a half ish pound bar. So roughly 17 and a half.
right, second set, 17 and a half, 10 reps, keep it the same. That's it, same way. Last set, 17 and a half. And wrap, so let's do the same for next week. No surprise there. And then, move on. Bend over, rear straight arm raises. Straight arm, rear lift. And again, you can lean over bench. You can lie down if you want to. You gotta follow the bench. Or you can bend over, do it like this. Same thing with your bent over rows, kickbacks, all those kinds of things you can do in that position. Your shoulder fly, single arm. Anyway, I'm gonna refill my water. Alright, so the last set we did last week was 22 and a half. We're keeping it 22 and a half. And I think, yeah, I got those all ready to go. Just need one. Get a single arm exercise. There's no interval for this one. Just going to do both sides. Right down. I'm going to go over to the next set. Personally, I always start on the right side. I do recommend that you always start the same side as a habit, so you always know which side you get first. And for these ones and the kickbacks, which we're doing in a couple, you know, two more exercises, you can 
either have this side up or down, it doesn't matter. I prefer this way. However, when you do the supported rows, you do those on Friday, I think. Yeah, it's a Friday exercise. I do recommend supporting yourself here for sure. So, like I said, if you feel like swinging out a little farther, that's fine. You're really not swinging out any farther because it's really sitting in. I don't know. I prefer this one. Try not to swing your arm. Down the stop, up, control it back, lower drop. You know, all the good stuff. First set, 22 and a half. And the reps, we're going to keep it 22 and a half for next time.
Alright, second set, 22 and a half. 10 reps, keep it 22 and a half. Most of the pain from the migraine's gone. Took a little bit in my eye. Still making me a little wonky here. Last set, 22 and a half, 10 reps. We'll stay there. I don't think we're improving anything yet this today. No. From today. Okay, so shoulder shrugs. Again, this is the only exercise I do twice a week, so I have to check Thursdays. So last week we ended at 45, and we were keeping it at 45, and I believe it's the same anyway. Thursday, we ended with 45 and we'll keep them at 45. So, I do have to make those. I don't have 45s. Uh, I do have two dumbbells over there, dumbbell bars that weigh almost nothing. At max, they're probably a pound each. 
probably closer to half a pound. They're not made for heavy, heavy weights. But they can support 45 this time. So, so yeah, I'm going to do that now. The other ones that I've been using with the other plate weights, they weigh about two and a half to three pounds. These ones are not weighing.
All right, first set 45, 10 reps. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep it the same. I think it feels a little better than it did last week, but it still needs to stay the same for the second set at least. And we're gonna do standing Heisman's, back and forth, step tap, whatever, whatever's comfortable. So, I have it written down to be doing like this. Back and forth like this. This is more comfortable for you. You want to act, you want to feel like you're actually doing a little more? Add the arms. You don't have to go high, you don't have to go high. If you want to, you can. For now, I'm not doing it. We'll probably end this segment. We'll start the next segment. Uh, but today, I'm definitely not feeling it. I'm going to do it. As I can without overdoing myself so I can finish my action work. Again, just keeping the body moving. That's the main purpose of that. Like I said, if you just want to jog in place, it's fine. If you want to walk around, walk around and just do holistic stretching, that's fine too. But don't just stand there drinking water, talk to the dude on the, who's doing his bench presses, whatever the fuck you're doing. Yeah. Or sit there and play your phone. Do something. Move around. That's the main thing. Move around. 45 minutes. Seconds. 45 one violation on that because um, I was calling out a scammer and I put the address of the house on the, the door, door address so don't deliver to this house uh, they're, they're stealing somebody else's information put the address on there and people seem to be more concerned about the fact that I put somebody's address on there than they were about the people who lived there who were stealing other people's it's amazing. People are more concerned about scammers than they are about. But then again, it's true. But I wasn't giving me as personal to make. I just said, don't deliver to this house. But I can also see why it would be kind of a dangerous thing to do. I probably should have done it in the first place. But, um, 
So anyway, I clicked on that one on my other account. It didn't log me out. Only on this main account. I don't know why I did that. So I tried downloading on the computer to see if I could get it, and it would just give me a blank notification. So I go to, go to the live center, and it said I had an active suspension. And then uh, I click on it, and it wouldn't give me any information, any appeal information. So, but right before I came down here, I looked again, and it said my and same thing. It said I clicked, I clicked the notification. The last notification said your appeal was approved or whatever, your, your access has been restored, and then it was logged me out again. But I don't know what the fuck is going on. Maybe it's not just me, maybe it's something with the system. I don't know. I did everything but, everything but uninstall and reinstall the app. So. so I just finished the set. I just finished the set, didn't I? And I just kind of wasted my whole life. My whole rest time by standing here and talking. Forty-five, ten reps. We're gonna keep it forty-five for the last sets. I'm still doing my my interval. Shittily, I'm gonna do it. Okay. The whole purpose, man. I want I want to do it. But today is just not the day. I'm not worried about it. 
notifications on TikTok. People are commenting on videos. I don't know what they are. This still makes one of my last two. The Modern Warrior Stitch. Which, by the way, I can guarantee you, the Modern Warrior Stitch I did right before I came down here is... Why someone jumped on there and said that you got me to be suspended off of here. Even though everything I said in my modern mortar stitch was the exact opposite of hate speech. Anyway, I get a little bitter about that shit. It just pisses me off the way that TikTok just automatically just suspends you and, and by, just accepts the violation. But I have sent notification, I have sent reports on spam, obvious spam. I have sent reports on obvious fake accounts that the creator has himself sent reports on to say, they're pretending to be me, legit me. I am a verified account and they are pretending to be me. No violation. And people can sit there and spew racist, hateful comments all they want, as long as they're on, you know, this side. Perfectly fine. They can spew whatever the fuck they want. If someone com combats them, counteracts or contradicts them, calls them out for it, all of a sudden, whoop, that's hate speech. That's pulling and harassing. Oh yeah, one guy, one guy entertains I'll tell you exactly who it is. Some political dude, that's his name, some political dude, sits there and bullies, harasses, and makes fun of conservatives and Trump supporters and everything all they want. And sometimes, you know what, they're, sometimes he, he's kind of, I'll be honest, he's kind of spot on. He is. And some, you know, sometimes he points out some stupid shit. And I'm like, okay. But most of the time, he will automatically, oh, no surprise, they're a Trump supporter. No surprise to this. I called him out on it one time, not being rude or mean, just saying, no, nah, I'm not surprised that that's exactly what you would go for, as opposed to the actual legitimate reason that this is happening. You should automatically, it's because they're Trump supporters, or just or because they're unvaccinated. Or you think, that they, whatever it was, that's the reason behind everything. You know, no. Um, I get pulled to bullying her ass. Yet, literally, that's his whole account. Anyway, yeah. All right, so let me break these down, and we'll move on to triceps. Three more exercises, and we're done. This app is it gets me. It's such a great tool. Such a great overall app to have and utilize. But it's ran so poorly. Like they want you, uh, uh, legit, the, uh, the email I sent them because I couldn't get on the appeal said you want to hold account creator, you want to hold creators accountable on the app and that is perfectly fine. You should hold the, the creator accountable. But you have to have accountability for yourself. Just because somebody reports something doesn't mean it's true. And every time I report something, I get under review, but it's never removed. You know, they don't remove it right away. Yet, like mine, it's removed instantly as soon as it's reported. And then they review it when it's appealed. Or you know, then, you know they'll, they'll remove it, and then they'll remove the, they'll, they'll lift the, the suspension on it, or the, they'll restore the video after they review it. I don't understand why sometimes it's automatic removal, and then only if you appeal it, it's, it might get restored. But on other times, it's, ah, we're going to send it for review first, and then we're going to decide. It should be that way every time. Every time. Because, I mean, 
it, I don't care how, I don't care if it's one person, I don't care if it's 10,000 people reporting it, somebody needs to watch that video first before anything happens. I don't care if it's a leftist, I don't care if it's a conservative, I don't care if it's a homophobe, I don't care if it's a heterophobe, I don't care what the hell it is. It needs to be reviewed before, before any suspension, any removal happens. That is accountability. That is integrity. That is integrity right there. Right? TikTok has no integrity on their side. And for, for it being the most popular, most used app, it needs to have integrity. And that's what Elon Musk has been trying to, wanted to do with Twitter. Supposedly, he backed out the deal. I haven't looked that up, but I saw somebody mention that. But he got a news alert saying that he backed out of buying it, but I thought he already bought it. I don't know. I should be wrong. But there needs to be integrity, and that's the problem with Facebook, too. Mark Zuckerberg. I know I'm on Instagram and Meta, Metaverse, and Metaverse owns Instagram. My headache's gone now. I feel better, so now I'm going to rant. Stop it, don't Zuckerberg is the biggest pussy in the world. That's not bullying and harassing anybody, TikTok. That's talking about a public figure who legit is a pussy. Because once the once once the Senate hearing or whatever the fuck was government was trying to say, hey, hey, you need to silence people on your platform, I would say you need to back off my platform because the First Amendment states that you cannot limit freedom of speech. I can if I want to. But you have no place for it. You are not allowed to jump in and be involved. Well they're spreading misinformation which can be dangerous. They can spread whatever the fuck they want to. If I feel that it's going to be dangerous, that's fine. I have no problem putting up something saying, hey, this information is disputed. That's fine. But I, as a citizen, and you, as a citizen, have every right to say whatever the fuck you want as long as you are not inciting violence. Or inciting somebody coercing somebody into something that they shouldn't be doing. That's dangerous for themselves or others. Like convincing a whole town to drink some food. Yelling fire in a movie theater, which I think that's been reversed, but still, that's the same thing. Yelling fire in a theater and causing a mass panic. That's the same thing. That is the same thing that people do when they mass report videos. It's the same thing in reverse. We're all gonna get together and we're going to fucking bullshit and make them fucking block this person just because. It's the same thing. I want to watch the world burn, so I'm going to yell fire in a theater. No pun intended. Same thing. I want to watch TikTok burn, so I'm going to fucking mass report the shit out of this guy until they take his shit down. And I'm going to sit back and go, <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm cool. No, you're nothing but, you're, you're the legit, legit, you're the Karen. You're a Karen. That's legit, being a Karen. I'm going to come up with some bullshit reason to fucking do something because I think it makes me feel, I get that. I got that person off of There's legit, there's legit reasons to get somebody off the platform, and then there's bullshit reasons just because you think you're offended or whatever the fucking reason it is. I don't know what the fuck just happened in between that last, <laughs> before that last set and now, but fuck. Look, like everything just came fucking back. Anyway, let's get this shit done. Cause I'm hungry.
All right, so on to triceps, tricep kickbacks. Last week we did 15 on the first, 17 and a half on the second, 20 on the third. We're keeping at 20. This is a single arm exercise, so there's no interval in between it. Seriously, I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, just got a complete second win. Like, maybe, maybe that's what I needed to do. Maybe I needed to come down here and just rant and vent the fucking shit out of, out of myself. I just... I don't know. Anyway, did I say 20? I said 20, right? I'm gonna look because you guys aren't gonna tell me. I know you're not. You know what does. Every time I ask a question on here, nobody, nobody responds to me. Uh, 20, yes. Alright, let's see. Alright, so I just did on what I said. Um, you should not say anything you want at any time. There are times where you shouldn't, and there are certain things you probably shouldn't say or do, like saying racist bullshit, homophobic bullshit, things like that. You know? Um, and there's a difference between facts and, and, and your feelings. You know, you can, you can spare somebody's feelings if you don't want, if you want to, that's fine. But, uh, certain things. Like, I believe everybody, everybody has the right to live their life as they so choose, as long as it doesn't harm other people. I know it's kind of a libertarian view, but I'm not a libertarian, you know, I'm not even a conservative, I'm not a you are know, watching your verse, this is right. I lean more on the right side, but I'm very liberal with my, as far as being everybody live peacefully, how they want. If you're a man, you believe you're a woman, you don't live a life as a woman, that's fine. You don't tell me what I should believe and how I should act. You know, if you, if you want to be gay, that's fine. I don't say want to be gay, but if you're gay, you know, I'm perfectly fine with that. I just told a story the other day that I have no issue whatsoever. I'm actually flattered if I get hit on by a gay guy. You know? Flat, I'm not going to I'm not going to reciprocate that. But I'm flattered. I'm secure enough in myself that I can be flattered by that without being offended by it or being like insecure about it. So, um, so anyway, I believe I will defend. I will defend your right to say whatever you want to say. But at the same time, I will probably punch you right in the face if you say something disgusting or disturbing that's going to, you know, so, but yeah, I will defend your right to do so. That doesn't mean that you're going to escape consequences for saying what you want, saying what you said, or expressing yourself the way you want. You want to, you want to fly the Confederate flag at your house down the street? I don't know if there's one. There used to be one down here. You want to do that? That's perfectly fine. You have a right to do that. But I'm not, I'm not going to stand there and defend, I'm not going to defend you when the guy across the street starts screaming at you because you're a racist. He has a right to say that too. So, uh, you want to, you want to stand on the American flag, you want to burn the American flag, you want to kneel during the anthem, that is your right. But it's also his right to complain about it. So, it's always, it's back and forth. Freedom of speech, freedom of expression, it's back and forth. But, however, it doesn't give you a right to be a racist asshole because he's kneeling because of issues that he believes in. Because of a cause that he believes in. If you be a racist asshole, I will probably death you for it. That doesn't give me, that doesn't give you or me a right to stop you from saying what you want to say. You know? If you want to say, I don't agree with that, I don't think you should be kneeling in front of the flag, perfectly fine. I believe I should be because I don't respect this because of that. Well, you should because you can have an argument all day long. But once you cross that line and start calling each other fucking racist names, then, then there's a problem. But you have the right to say it. Okay, anyway, sorry. Alright. 40 pounds per set. 
6 o'clock. See, once I start talking, I don't stop. That's my fucking problem. Alright. Why I don't report people for saying bullshit like Modern Warrior said in his video. He has a right to say it. Which is why I make my response videos like that. Because I have a right to say that too. I have a right to come back and people saying something as disgusting and racist. Alright, first set, 20 pounds, 15, 15, 10, 10 breaths. People are still watching me. You watch me because I'm working out, you watch me because I'm ranting like a lunatic. Raving like, raving, raving like a lunatic. Is anybody actually still on Instagram? I see three people came in. I'm pretty sure you're not there anymore. I don't think there's anybody on Twitch. I know there was somebody on Twitch because he was talking to me before my backup band. See? See? I ask a question, nobody talks. What is 6 times 2 times 2 plus 2 in parentheses minus 14 divided by 12 to the square root of 4? Maybe I should put that up like right here somewhere. Something like that math problem and have people arguing over it. It won't work out. I bet you have to get people in here. That seems to be like the most popular ones. Some guys there sitting there doing it or make me laugh and I'll and I'll I'll give you a, a like or I'll follow you. I'll end my life if you make me laugh. Anyway, second set, keep it 20 pounds. Where's my son's here yet? Six o'clock. Second set, 20 pounds, 10 reps. I think we'll go 22 and a half on that one.
No, he's not here yet. My son's not here yet. <laughs> I said, now I'm about to leave, though. I said, okay. Let's see. All right, so last set. 22 and a half, 10 reps. We'll keep that at 22 and a half for next week. All right, on the skull crushers. All right, so we did 42. Now, the skull crusher, single, single weight. I don't like, I don't... I don't like using the plate weight dumbbells for it. Um, now, if I did dump, if I did, if I did them this way, to be a little bit different from using the handles or a barbell. But I don't, I don't know. I like doing them this way with one, and the hex dumbbell creates a nice cradle. Um, so I like using those ones, but then again. As soon as I move up to 45, I'm going to have to either make a dumbbell again, with those, the plates, or we have to switch and do 22 and a half in both hands. It's not what I want because that's not the movement I want. I want this. It's a little bit different on the tricep because it's this. Maybe. It feels good. So right now I got 42. If I take the 40 pound weight, I wrap one of the uh, two, two pound dumbbells, two pound dumbbells, two pound wrist weights on the bottom, which makes it 42, which gives me my half increment roughly. So I could put the other one on there. I could wrap the five pound on there to give me the 45 uh, until I get a 45. I just can't afford the extra right now to spend on weights when I, I can't really justify it in my head. In fact, I have 450 pounds of plate weights and a total of eight dumbbell bars. And I could be wrong. It could, be, it could not be that big of a deal, you know, with the plate weight. Because I had to use them before I got the hex dumbbells when I was doing them. So, who knows? Anyway, so skull crushers, and then these last two exercises have intervals in them, uh, so anyway, so I'm going to pull this out just a tad bit more, there, Uh, 
then just wrap around this to the bottom. Like that, my hands are here. There you go. My in between them. Definitely want to try to avoid having this straight up and down on your chest or your stomach. This isn't too bad for the way that it is. Now, I'm going to hold it so it's not like pressing on it. Okay. Now, I will switch which number hands on top halfway through it. Just because it does feel definitely, definitely feels different in between. Um, that's going to be difficult to do when I start doing 10 sets of 30. You might have to go back and forth between the sets. But for now, I can do 5 and 5. So I guess we're going to figure out what we're doing with the, with the 45, so I'm going to go ahead and try it with the plate weights. See what happens there. See how, not see what happens, see how it feels. So first set, 42 pounds, 10 reps, I'm going to take it up to 45. The next set, and we are doing fast feet for this one. The only issue I had is I try to do it with the uh, beat of music. It doesn't work. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I try to make it work. This is the calf burner. You don't have to travel with it, too. You can travel with one. You can still want it. And again, I will stress, you can do the same one whatever you're comfortable with. You just want to run in place, jog in place, jump rope, whatever. I just try to, again, just try to break up the monotony of the intervals by doing something different. I don't think everybody wants to run in place the whole time. Except for maybe runners. They like to run. I get to work on it. Weird, because it. That's probably why I stopped doing it. I started doing cross country and long distance on the track. I don't like doing it. We're on the treadmill for about 10 minutes or so, then I get bored. Alright, so. just under $45 for 99 cents a pound for used weights. 
could have got it. back at another time. That's the only thing I'm worried about. I make sure I use the twist locks as opposed to the quick clamps on here to make sure that it stays on. those quick clamps slipping, having the weight at a certain angle, vertical, gravity pulling down against the quick clamps. These ones are nice and tight. They don't have such a long end to it. I shouldn't be too worried about it smacking me in the head. Alright, let's see how this feels. I definitely want those 45s. Alrighty. Well, I guess it's not, it's not terrible. Well, I need to go up again. So, 45, 10 reps, we go up to 47. I'm just going to wrap that two pounder around on that one. Or, honestly, I could just throw another two and a half on this one. On one end of it, and it'll still be the same thing. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Throw that two and a half on there before it's, uh, it's on the one side. It'll work. Again, it's going this way. It goes this way, so it wouldn't be lopsided or anything. It's the same concept of putting that on there. Anyway, what are we doing fast feet? Fast feet. I had to count them out louder, right? I started counting the beats. Like I'm doing now. Screw <laughs> myself up. Okay. I don't know. I'm trying to count eight measures or eight beats. That doesn't work. I didn't work. I'm gonna go faster than that. I'm gonna go that much faster. I'm gonna go twice the speed of the beats. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. 47 and a half. This guy here. I guess it really doesn't matter which side I even pulled up. 
by the way, it's going to I would still rather have the, uh, the hex way where my hands kind of curve around a little bit. But it's not, not as horrible as I thought it was going to be. Alright, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 42 and a half, 45, 47. Okay, so that's going to be the first exercise for today that we're taking up next week. Alright, so 47 and a half on the third set, 10 reps, and that will go up to 50 next week. Way. And then we'll do the last exercise, which is close grip tricep pull downs on that machine there. You do my that machine too. I don't have 45s. Okay. I guess I should just I just want to be these dumbbell bars next to the plate weights. I only need the one with the twist locks. Alright, so close grip, push downs, 45 on the last set, we're keeping them 45.
wrists weren't feeling that very well. I think I was just holding the bar wrong. I think I was allowing the bar uh, my wrist to move more than they should. Uh, anyway, 45 pounds, 10 reps, we'll put the 50 on that one. My arms are fine. Kind of. Alright, so these are the wag jacks. So we're here in the beginning for the wag jacks. They're goofy looking. That's why they're called wacky jacks. I got them from P90X, so if you like P90X, you know what P90X is, if you're a junkie P90X, then you know what wacky jacks are. They're nothing special. They're just goofy. That's it. They look stupid. But it's something else to do. Even though you're kind of on your toes, it's still a little less calf work than the other, uh, other intervals that I've been doing. I lay my legs outward as opposed to bouncing up and down on them. Alright, so I'm going to make this 50 in a second set. I don't, I don't, but I do. 
my planks and my side planks because they're timed differently. So I don't have to switch them back and forth. Stop the third button. So I'm done. Alright, last set, 50 pounds. Yeah, I put it in there if I wanted to. Eight's enough. Eight is enough. What am I? Finishing my set. Finish your set, finish stuff because I already talked about it beforehand and afterwards and I'm hungry, I need to shower, it's disgusting. I need, I need to eat. My son just got here, so I'm gonna go eat. Alright, so let's see, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, YouTube. All the same usernames. So if you want to check me out on a different platform, by all means go ahead for you Twitch people. All of everything other than the live streams are on the other platforms. TikTok's the main account, all my update videos, all my weekly highlight re real videos, which are many see the difference. Um, but they're made kind of for inspiration for you guys as well. If you want to see them, they're there. Uh, fitness journey playlist and the weekly workout highlight playlist on TikTok. We'll have all those videos for you. Uh, I make them there. I upload them there first and then I share them to the other platforms. Instagram, Twitter and Facebook as well. Again, same username. Uh, Instagram also has my weekly progress pictures. So if you want to see the weekly pictures, um, I'm going to start posting uh, last week to this week as well as start to start to current. Because um, I, I keep forgetting to do that. You can post two, two, three, four, five pictures in a row. Um, also, Instagram has my artwork. Again, there's some that's like shit. <laughs> I'll be honest with some of my artwork is like shit. More of the stuff when you score down the bottom, some of the newer stuff looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I'm not the best artist in the world. I'm nowhere near the best artist in the world. Uh, but I like doing it when I have time to do it. Uh, my, next pro my next project, I think, as soon as I get the gumption up to do it, is to, I'm going to do Eddie from Eddie Months from Stranger Things. There was a scene right before everybody's sharing the whole like guitar on the on the rooftop thing. That's an awesome picture. But there was a scene right before he when he stopped running and turned around. He said, "I'm not running anymore." Just the space and the way he was holding. I want to paint that. I want to paint that. I need to paint that. <laughs> I need to take the time to paint it. So anyway, but there's artwork on there and there's other stuff anyway. Um, and then basically I share those to, I guess, on Facebook and Twitter um, as well. 
uh, wherever this is in the corner, <laughs> YouTube, all the workout videos I'm recording on the camcorder uh, to edit, put text over, all that fun stuff. Um, and then I can put those up on YouTube. It's in landscape mode, so it's more of a video format as opposed to these portrait ones, um, you know, which is video format. Uh, so I had those, put those, and they upload those into the workout playlist on my YouTube. Uh, the Fitness Journey playlist, same title as one of the playlists on TikTok, has all the videos, uh, highlight reels, and updates and information videos on the workout in that playlist. Uh, there is also a stretch video playlist which will have all the videos that I follow along. I follow along on, if you've been watching, you know that I follow along with Beachbody and Turbo Jam Hip Hop Ab videos for my warm-up. Um, but on the weekends, on Sundays, I pick a random full body stretch. Not always random. Somewhere I try to keep it around 20 to 45 minutes, closer to 45 minutes than I can, 30 to 45 minutes. But sometimes in a hurry. Um, but I pick a random, uh, full body stretch off of uh, YouTube that I had not done yet, uh, and then I kind of do that, and then I review it afterwards, not really like major, I just give it a quick review, hey that was pretty good, I like this about it, I didn't like that, I guess it's, it's a quick review, uh, and then I put those videos into my stretch video playlist, so if anybody does happen to watch me doing it, those videos are right there in the playlist, um, so if you're watching me on any of the live streams, you can really go to my YouTube and just find them right there in the playlist. Um, I always make sure I say the name of them beforehand and afterwards, sometimes afterwards. <laughs> I always say the full title, the, the influencer's name uh, in the live stream um, so you know what I'm doing. And it will always be, they're, they're obviously in order because I add them to the playlist as I do them. So they are in order of when I started doing them. So, it will always be the last one, or the first one, depending on how it looks. Uh, at least when I pull up the stretch video playlist, it comes up, I think the first one that's in there, the first one that I did, that was week three. The first one I did was week three, and then they're all down from there. I think you can sort them to depending on how you use your YouTube. I don't know. But they're all there. Anyway, so if you want to use them, I would highly suggest and recommend that you use their video to follow along versus mine. Because their videos made to follow along, I'm following along with somebody else. And you're following along with me, and then we're playing the telephone game, and all of a sudden you're doing it wrong because I was doing it slightly wrong. All that fun stuff. So follow their video, give them a like, subscribe to them if you like it, all that good stuff. Follow along with them. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. Nothing more to say.